Plant-based milk alternatives are booming. They are a staple in every third wave coffee shop, but also in the shelves and the supermarkets. In actuality though, they have been around for a really long time. Coconut milk has been used in Asian and Indian cuisine for centuries. A predecessor of the soy milk that we know today has been used for a very, very long time in China. In Europe though, almond milk was the most popular. You can find almond milk mentioned in medieval cookbooks. It is a staple for almost every recipe in there and some people even call it one of the most important ingredients in medieval cookery. The reasons for that are varied. One of them is that drinking cow milk in medieval times, as milk was not yet pasteurized the way we do today, could be life-threatening. So understandably, people were a little wary about cow's milk. So they turned to an alternative, and that alternative was almond milk. Uh, another reason was a religious one. During medieval times, in Christianity, it was forbidden to consume dairy products, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. So people used almond milk instead. It wasn't a very cheap option though. So oftentimes it was reserved for nobility. But when, church, when the church's influence declined and rules about fasting became less and less strict, the popularity of almond milk declined as well because, well, cow's milk was the cheaper alternative and as time went on, it became safer to consume. So almond milk lost its popularity until the 2000s actually, when it again became a favorite. Today, the global market value of almond milk is estimated at about six billion US dollars but it is but many people think that it might even double until 2025 because it is that popular I think it's fascinating how long our plant-based milk alternatives have actually been around and many of the others have equally interesting backstories so if you're interested in that let us know in the comments and maybe in another show we'll talk a little bit more about coconut milk or oat milk. As for now, we're going to have a chat with our barista who is going to let us in on his secrets. We've already heard a little bit about milk alternatives today, especially about almond milk and its very, old, very long and fascinating history. So, but as some of you may know, um, working with milk alternatives can be a little bit tricky. And to explain some of the differences between working with regular cow milk and milk alternatives, we've invited a barista here with us today. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so my name is Maxin. I work at Baltasar Café Bar in Vienna. Yeah, today I got the pleasure to show you the differences in foaming milk alternatives. Then I'd say let's get right into it. We have the first milk that we do have is um, just whole milk. It's just regular cow milk, so I don't think we need to explain too much. Probably not. Um, then the next alternative that we have is oat milk. Yes, oat milk is quite common and very popular now, especially in all the third wave coffee shops. Um, then the third milk, I suppose, that we have is uh, almond, that we've heard a little bit about today already. To be honest, I don't have too much experience in foaming almond milk, but let's see how it works. I think it's quite good in like cold drinks. Probably, yeah. The last alternative we have here is soy. Yeah, 
So soy milk has been in the coffee shops for quite some time now, I think. It's still quite popular, I guess. In your experience, which one's the easiest to farm? Milk, regular <laughs> milk, definitely. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're getting right into it with the regular cow milk. Yes, so first off, we're gonna need some coffee. Obviously. <laughs> and you said um, whole milk, regular cow milk is the easiest one to work with. Definitely, yes. So like, how long have you been doing this? How long have um, you been working with coffee? Fair question. <laughs> it's been over five years now. All right, that is quite a while. Yeah. And you obviously enjoy it as well. Yes, I do. <laughs> It's a minor obsession by now. <laughs> and what makes cow milk the easiest one to foam? It's just the most coherent and therefore the easiest to foam. It also has the most protein, I think. Mm -hmm. And it is the milk protein that... It's the milk protein, yes. Even enables milk to be froth, right? Yes. Yeah. I think so. Okay. <laughs> so it's more important that you have a lot of protein than fat okay. for the milk to foam properly. And what Abarisa is doing now is commonly known as latte art, which basically means um, painting with the milk in the coffee. Um, there are different motifs that you can do. And you're doing which motif right now? What's it called? It's the tulip. It's very pretty, I think. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> and what is, how, for everybody who's, who's worked with coffee before, it's, it's very obvious that that is cow milk. It's, yeah, it's just, um, First off, the foam, it's just very silky and just kind of flat on top. Also, mm -hmm. it's the easiest to kind of make like a little sway in it. For example, mm -hmm. if you don't do a, a tulip, but a rosetta, for example, um, it's definitely the easiest with cow milk. Okay, um, let's get on then. Um, the next alternative or the first alternative that we have is oat. Oat. I'll hand Thank that you to much. you. So at the coffee shop I work at, um, the only alternative we have is oat. Mm -hmm. And we use it quite a lot to be honest. Is it easy to work with? Um, fairly easy. So from all the alternatives, I think it's the easiest to foam. Okay. Um, one good kind of trick is to just let it sit. Mm -hmm. So for example, for us, we do have two different drinks, one with oat milk mm -hmm. and one with regular milk. Um, we would foam the oat milk first, which is let it sit, yeah. then foam the regular milk, just prepare the regular drink and then take the oat milk. So kind of Let's it sit for a bit, makes it easier to do lots of art with it. Okay. So it's still somewhat nice. It is, definitely. Um, I mean, the difference is hardly visible. But still, you can see compared to the regular milk, you have much more bubbles and it's not quite as silky. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, the next one is our little experiment. Yes. <laughs> I'm very curious, it's almond milk. Me as well. <laughs> you said you've never Let's worked see. with that before? No. 
let's see how it turns out. I'm quite, quite curious. Yes. So far, I've only had it for breakfast. <laughs> With cereal? With cereal, yeah. yeah. What's your preferred um, alternative milk drink? But not just, not in coffee, but in general, what would you use? Um, I don't know. I've tried a few. Um, I don't drink coffee with milk, mm -hmm. just black. I don't like the taste of it with milk. But for like cereal, um, I really like oat milk, for example, or almond milk. I don't like soy milk too much. Yeah, me neither. I... Kind yeah. of too much reminds me of like fresh cut grass. <laughs> it's not a good taste in the milk. <laughs> no. It's not really what you want typically no. with your cereal, is it? Um, but then I don't know, whatever floats your boat. I know a lot Definitely. of people who do really like soy milk, so yeah. it's not to judge judge anyone or any, any habits. Um, okay, let's see how that's gonna turn out. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. It looks alright, but feels a little more watery. Okay. How's it looking? Not good. <laughs> well, it's something like a feather, almost. A little bit, yeah. It is but it, something. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't quite flow like the oat milk or regular milk. Yeah. Oh well. I bet it tastes nice. It doesn't always have to look pretty. Yeah. Shall we do the last one? Yes. Okay. So, soy milk for you. And then I have another tiny can of milk also. No, it's not milk. Another so tiny can of soy, soy. Yeah. drink. Um, um, what's I got that this, for? I got this tip from one of my former colleagues. Mm -hmm. She used to work in London at a coffee shop. Um, and so you basically just put a bit of cold soy milk into the coffee first and then pour the hot on top. It kind of makes it easier for you to do latte art. Okay, I've never heard of that before. But that's a very handy trick. Yeah. So just take. So really just a tiny bit. Yeah. Just give it a swirl. Mm -hmm. Don't spill anything. Don't spill anything. <laughs> different in color yeah it doesn't quite mix as well as um, the other three do um, you can also see that it's not a smooth surface mm -hmm. but it's more kind of like a bulk almost yeah well, it looks pretty yeah it looks Thank you. prettier yeah. than the almond milk definitely yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's abstract uh, anyway Thank you very much for helping us out. Thank You're you. You're quite welcome. Thanks. Um, and I'll see you around, I guess. Maybe you will join us in the future sometime for another uh, video. And, and otherwise, thank you very much. And thank you. Have my a pleasure. wonderful day. You too. Bye. Bye.
And if you enjoyed our video, hit the button to subscribe, click the bell to be notified for more videos like this, and <laughs> drop us a like. Bye. Say bye, Amy. Bye. Bye-bye. You just want another drink, don't you? Mm -hmm.